My name is Alan and welcome to Hawk Shack. All right, so we're at the Hog Shack, and we're here with John. Hello. Making Maybe ribs. Maybe backwards. <laughs> so what's the first step? First step is to take this membrane out. Every pork has, or pork ribs, will have this membrane. You want to take it out because yeah, uh, your flavor or your seasoning won't penetrate through this the uh, skin here. So usually I use a fork. Go to the first rib, lift it up with the, my finger. There you go. And it just pulls right away. Just clean up a little bit here. So now the seasoning. So what do you guys season with? Uh, it's our own special blend. It's uh, the sugar, salt, uh, black pepper, and other spices. That's and other good. spices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you want to sprinkle liver. A lot of depends on how spicy you want it or how much uh, seasoning. It depends on your uh, profile. But we put quite a few. Cover it. Well, it's ribs. It shouldn't be subtle. It should, you know, smash you in the face with the yeah, flavor. Some people like it boiled, right? <laughs> we don't. <laughs> We got the smoker going and we're putting it at 220 degrees. Low and slow. We can go lower, but I like this temperature. So about how long is that gonna take? Um until so it becomes delicious. How long? Anywhere from <laughs> three to five hours, depending on how thick the meat is. Right. Pretty much when it when a barbecue's done, it's done. You know it's done. Right. So you gotta be patient if you have a good barbecue. My name is Alan. I'm John. And we're the owners of Hog Shack in beautiful Steveson, British Columbia. We're a family style restaurant uh, catering in some of the finest barbecue you can find this side of the border and some awesome craft beers. It's our passion, it's our life, it's what we love to do. Uh, John will talk a bit about our food. Our style is Kansas City style barbecue. So our sauces have molasses, apple cider, and tomatoes, tomato base. Uh, we do ribs, pork ribs, beef ribs, uh, full pork, and all, and chicken. So, um, what inspired you guys to to open the restaurant? Uh, you know, we thought there was a huge niche here for some, something different. Uh, Stevenson here, we are more focused towards uh, fish and chips, uh, more of a seafood style. Uh, the area, and knowing that what Vancouver is like, we like to have something different. Um, uh, we are one of the few restaurants in Vancouver that's all restricted microbreweries and craft beer. Um, and we make everything in house, all our food, all our ribs, everything smoked in house. Uh, John, who uh, uh, works very hard to make sure we live the best food here, and it's something that we love to do and something that we do really well at. So, uh, Hog Shack's been a success for us so far. The glaze has set in. It's nice and shiny. We can add a bit more, Let's round them out. 
Yeah, it's starting to kind of... You can see the smoke ring right there when you do competition. Oh, one sec. The juiciness, it's what you want. And you want to give it a try? Or well, maybe later. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take a bite uh, to show you <laughs> what the bite through, what they want. Okay. So when you bite into it, you want to see your teeth mark in it and so it pulls off not stuck to the to the bone so oh so this, this is what they look for at that's what they look for okay. in competition I think. to get that teeth mark if it's so it's not just supposed to fall apart it should no. have some bite to it some bite real barbecue shouldn't just fall off the meat or fall off the bone it should have give I can pull this, but I'm not. I'm still having a force there. Right. Not just, not just. You're like not just touching it. Touching it, goes, it falls yeah. apart. If it just falls apart, then it's overcooked. Any time. My name is Alan. Don't. You're gonna say your name. Get back to that. My name is Alan. I'm John. 